only in Trenton do you see a shutdown in government because the Democrats cannot decide which taxes to raise. They're not shutting down government because the Democrats want to lower taxes or cut spending. They're shutting down government because this governor is not communicating with the Democratic or Republican leadership. From my understanding, he's not negotiating with the Democratic leadership. He's not talking to the Republican leadership. This is not a dictatorship. With all due respect to the governor, his inexperience is showing in this budget fight. You need to talk to the other side, and you need to compromise. He's not doing that. And the amazing thing is, the amazing thing is, not one word, not one word on reforms. Most people in New Jersey, actually a majority of people in New Jersey, know the biggest problem in this state is property taxes. If we were shutting down the government because we were lowering taxes and one side wanted to raise and one side wanted to lower and we could affect property taxes, that fight is worth having. The fight that this governor has started with his own legislature is over raising more taxes. We know that $34 billion is enough to run the state of New Jersey. Governor Murphy doesn't think so. He wants an 8% increase, despite the fact that our state is one that is desperate for true leadership re regarding lower taxes. I don't see it. Where is the discussion on pension and health benefit reform? Where is the discussion about lowering the Rev lowering expenses by $2.5 billion by incorporating some of the changes that was discussed by a bipartisan commission led by Tom Byrne. There's no discussion here. More importantly, though, I think the media needs to call upon this government, go governor to show leadership, contact all legislative leaders, and sit down. I actually had one bill that said, the governor and le legislative leadership should be required to be in a room together, face to face. I think there's going to be a shutdown, and I think there's going to be a shutdown because Governor Murphy wants to raise taxes way too high, and people are standing against it. Our budget officer, John DeMeo. Good morning, folks. Uh, leader certainly outlined quite a bit of the problems and the things we could be taking on here. Listen, if we go back 16 years and people say, well, don't go back, but history should be a teacher, uh, it seems that this governor is enamored with the same failed high spending, high tax philosophy and policies of the McGreevy Corzine era, where spending went up 48, 41% in eight years and debt went up from 16 billion to somewhere north of 40 billion. Um, that is a failed policy that, in that experiment, failed miserably. We're still feeling the results of that. Uh, the patient was on life support for the longest time. The state was in really sick financial situation. And we're improving modestly and letting people breathe a little and businesses breathe a, li breathe a little and recover. Uh, to start taxing businesses at a higher amount is just going to stifle job growth. Um, we're, we're not addressing property taxes in here to any real uh, degree. Even if we do the Sweeney plan for school funding, which I think would be a, a step in the right direction, there's nothing in the bill that, that I see that addresses for the districts that are overfunding at the local level to direct folks to return that money to the property taxpayers to help reduce property taxes in some manner. Uh, the, the money for homestead rebates has been cut in half, essentially. We really are so overtaxed and overburdened the state, people are just not recovering. And to, to, to want to dump more spending and more taxes on them, it seems that this governor, as the, as the leader said, uh, is, is excited to have an argument with his own people over taxing more and spending more when we really just can't afford it. There's so many things that are left on the table, as the leader uh, alluded to, um, health care and benefit reform. There's probably $2.5 billion worth of savings there if we took a real hard look at it. Uh, those are instant things that could be done in very short order 
if we had the political will to do it. Um, sales tax, just doing that increase is going to hurt the, the, the low and middle class. And it's $500 million out of the real economy in New Jersey. Uh, adding any innovative business that starts, the first thing we look to do is tax it. Uh, it doesn't sound like a lot to tax something like Lyft and Airbnb, but these are businesses that are developing that some folks can be their own entrepreneur by just joining that system. And now we want to tax that as well. There's just so many things that stifle business growth rather than encouraging in the state of New Jersey. Uh, you know, as I said, the, um, the patient was nearly dead eight years ago. We've made a lot of progress in reining in on, on spending and prioritizing the types of things we're investing in and living within the growth of the revenue that we have. Uh, if they brought a budget to, to the table that lived within revenue that we have to work with, we'd be more apt to want to look, look at it. But uh, as, the, as, as John said, we are headed for a shutdown because they can't even get their own act together. The, le the people in the legislature understand that we cannot go to the level he wants to go, and uh, there, there's just going to be problems. I see you got a hand up already. No. Let me just quote a couple of things that Governor Murphy said. First, he said, I will do everything to avoid a shutdown. Not true, because he's not having discussions with his own leadership or us. So if you're trying to avoid a shutdown, I assume the first thing you would do is start talking to legislative leadership. So that's absolutely not true. Second, he says, a millionaire's tax is sound and stable fiscal policy. What sound and stable fiscal policy is lowering your expenses and making sure people can afford to live here. Raising the sale tax is sound and fiscal, fiscal policy. Once again, these, in my judgment, are absolutely untrue. What's good fiscal policy is tell us where you're going to cut, what you're going to do. 